hot tubs, fun, wet, warm, full of memories, joy, relaxation, maybe even a rubber duck here too, but not this hot tub, oh no. This is a story about a hot tub that started filled with bubbles and ended up filled with balls. To understand this story, you must first understand Connor Daly, driver of the number 20 Bit Nile ride in the NTT IndyCar series, a man who enjoys having a good time, which of course this may enter the hot tub. I just got my um, my inflatable hot tub delivered to the house yesterday. So nice. It's, it's in the back of the car now. You know what? I figured this month of May, we're fully back. It's mm -hmm. something that I've always wanted to do. And to be honest, I feel like I could actually put this hot tub on my roof. Oh, how he wish he could have done just that now. But who and why? And maybe most importantly, how could someone do this? Well, I took it upon myself to find out just that. What hand did you have in putting the bamboozled balls in Connor Daly's hot tub? I'm too old for this stuff, man. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I find out from you guys and all that, but uh, yeah, I'm too old for these jokes, man. Being too old to partake is fair, but being Marco Andretti and flying private planes, having cool friends like Ludacris, Lends one to believe perhaps he had something to do with the funding of it all. No, actually. No. And I would definitely tell you. They were small balls. You strike me as more of a big ball guy. It means a lot. One thing's for sure, a prank like this would certainly take bigger balls than most. So if not Marco, does he have any inside sources on to whose balls these could be? I don't know, I feel like Hinch has a little bit of time on his hands. James Hinchcliffe, of Dancing with the Stars fame and every mom's favorite driver, could he have done this to his friend, Connor Daly? Well, maybe they're not so much of friends after all. Now James, you are a well-known, documented friend of Connor's. That's, I don't, I mean, can I plead the fifth on that? Here they are, photographed together in 2016, 2017, and 2018, and as recently as this past Monday night. Which brings up an interesting point. It couldn't have been Hitch, because, well, he and Connor were together when it happened. Oh, no, I was with Connor. I was with all y'all that night. And I went, oh, it happened on Monday? Yeah. So, like, I have an hour. <laughs> so, it wasn't. I didn't know that it happened yeah. on Monday night. Yeah. So, like, it's not near James. With drivers continuing to clear their names, I started to wonder about the public, the fans, the ones who bring the soul, and, well, more often than not, the shenanigans to the track. Connor's setup with the hot tub is very close to where a lot of the public can just come back and forth. Do we think that's a possibility? Or is that too far of a stretch, literally and figuratively? I did think of that. The literal part is the harder one because you have to unclip the cover to get to the water to dump those beads in, and that would not have been possible to reach over the fence and do it. And anybody caught jumping over the fence, there's a tight security here. As you can see, the distance between where the public can be and where the hot tub lies is, well, quite a stretch. But some, including James Hinchcliffe, believe that for those who pulled off this job, they wouldn't have to stretch, well, hardly at all. I go through the list of people in the bus lot, again, making an assumption it's someone in the bus lot that have kids, that have the motivation, the wherewithal, cunning, to pull off a move like this, lands on one person. Who would that be? Ed Carter. Really? Opportunity, he knows Connor's schedule inside and out as his boss. Father, three, he knows what these little things are. You could even argue, a bit of a prankster, like he's, he's a quiet guy, you know, you, you wouldn't know that about Quiet Ed Carpenter the prankster. Uh, yeah, I think uh, once the cameras are off and he's away from the racetrack, there's a fun Ed that's different from that track work Ed. 
You know, he might be like in the Scooby-Doo cartoons, the one you least expect. Exactly. You pull off the driver helmet and, oh, Ted Carpenter. Quite the accusation, Uncle Ed Carpenter. Six years older than Marco, owner of his own race team, and prankster? Turns out, Hinch isn't the only one who thinks just that. I think it's a dad thing. Well, I've heard that uh, theory, that hypothesis. So, like, it's, I didn't know what they were. I think it's a. My car's on track. This story continues to go round and round. But. Similarly to the winner we see so often here at this historic venue, the person who committed this act could be the person we all least expected.